Good evening. Marlene Bush, Stitching by the Lake, and today is Saturday, April the 4th. I have to look at my watch every time. I can't keep up with the days anymore. Since we don't go out to church, I don't know. I guess that's my anchor um, for my week, getting my week started and getting the days correct. Thank goodness we're able to have church on uh, live streamed for us. So we do that every Sunday. Obviously, I'm in my pajamas. It's uh, after supper. I'm sitting in my stitching chair. And I actually, I didn't even, didn't get anything out to show you. I just thought I would come and visit for a few minutes while I'm stitching. I'm working on Katherine Dickinson, which is, let's see here, Scattered Seed Samplers. I don't know with the light like it is that you're going to be able to see that. Probably not. Sorry, y'all. Maybe if I held it back here, it might be easier. Um, Tammy Black, Antique Reproduction Samplers. And this one is Katherine Dickinson, 1840. I love this one. It's not very big. It's 135 wide by 131 high. And it only has seven colors of threads. Um, but it's, it's a pretty neat little stitch. When I get to the end of this little part that I'm stitching right here, I'm going to be taking it off the hook to move it, so I'll show it to you then. I have it on a 28 count, no, 32 count, picture this plus legacy, that's what I'm stitching it on. And I'm surprised because I've, I'm able to stitch this without the magnifier on here. That's unusual. Sometimes depending on if I'm starting a new place or something, I'll, get, I'll pull the magnifier down and use it. But for right now, um, I'm able to do it without that. And that's kind of nice. I have found that the lighter the fabric, the better I can see it, even when it's, it's dusky outside now. It's not, um, it's not dark yet. But it's been, it has poured down rain here all day long. I joke every time I talk about the rain and say, I'm not sure God's counting the days. We may be at 39. Maybe it's going to stop. Looks like we're going to have more rain the next few days, though. And our ground is soggy. It's, the water sits on top of it for a while and because it slopes downwards towards the lake, it does eventually run off down there, which is a good thing. Anyway, um, I had a pretty busy day. We changed the beds and washed the sheets today. It's not my normal day to do that, but I just felt like doing it because it was raining and I couldn't do much else. Um, so, a couple of loads of laundry, and I made the last batch of blueberry muffins, because that's the last of my blueberries. My grandson came down today and brought Cade for a few minutes. I had ask my granddaughter if she would have him make us some palm frond um, a, sort of a little arrangement to put on the door out of his handprints and, and she's a first grade teacher, second grade teacher, I forget but anyway, she does all that kind of crafty stuff so they did, so I have Kate's handprints and he came in bringing them to me today he's so funny he's He'll be three in a couple of weeks, the 15th. And at my house, if he uses the potty, he 
he gets two M&Ms. So the first thing he does when he walks in the door is head straight for the bathroom to use the potty so that he can have his M&Ms. If he's here for very long at all, he might try to go to the potty two or three times. He tried that the other day. Today he just tried twice. His daddy told him no on the second time around because there was only about five minutes between the two attempts. Anyway, I have, uh, I have his little handprints made into palm fronds, which are very special, of course. I haven't gotten to see Raven in quite a while, except they do send me pictures on Snapchat, and that's nice to be able to see her. I also made a loaf of bread today. If you enjoy making bread, there's a guy on YouTube. His name is Steve. Type in Steve Artisan Bread. Very, very simple recipes. Very simple. And, and they're good. I made his turbo bread today. That's what he calls it because it only takes two and a half hours from start to finish. Really, it might take just a tad bit longer than that. But the first rising is just an hour and a half. And I baked it in a loaf pan, but then he said put another loaf pan on top and hold it closed with a binder with binder clips. And I did that. And then uh, you, you bake it for 40 minutes, and then you take that lid off for a few minutes and let it brown to however much you want it browned. It, I made the bread because we'll be taking communion in the morning, but here at home, we, uh, it's not like at church. We don't have the normal the normal things. So I made the bread for us to do that with and of course I tasted it when it came out of the oven. It's kind, it's a very good, this one is a sandwich bread, that's what he called it. And it is a very good dense heavy kind of bread. Um, <coughs> it'll be great toasted. Great. So we will have that for our communion tomorrow. And um, we don't have any juice, so we'll just have a little bit of wine. At our church, we normally have juice. But we have some wine here, and so we'll, it may be the first time um, ever that I've had wine before lunch. I don't suppose it will hurt me. I had a little glass of wine with dinner tonight. The wine that I drink is Moscata. Jerry calls it. What does he call it? It's fake wine. It's it's Kool Aid that masquerades as wine. He says. <laughs> um, that's okay. I like sweet. I don't like syrupy, but I do like sweet. Um, sorry y'all I'm counting um, it wasn't exactly paired correctly I'm quite sure because we had chicken fried rice so Moscata and chicken fried rice but it was it was okay it was good I enjoyed it and the fried rice was good too I was hoping to be able to take a drive today the dogwoods are beginning to pop out here. But I have two in my backyard and they're just starting and ours are usually behind others because there's so much in the shade here. So I thought we might take a drive, but it just rained too much. Maybe tomorrow. That would be nice if we could do that. I would enjoy it. Do y'all use the pin stitch to start? I do, and I usually start mine from behind, but I went back and watched Nicola Parkman's tutorial, and she starts hers from the front. So I've been doing that today. I kind of like it, except I don't know. It kind of worries me. I hope that holds good. I don't know why it wouldn't. If it would hold from behind, why wouldn't it hold from the front? That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? 
I have continued with my um, rotation that I said I was going to do this week. I've done seven different things this week. This Katherine Dickinson is number seven. On my next video, I'll show y'all what all I worked on. I worked on Judge Knot yesterday. That's the little sheet that are all different. And I managed to finish two of the sheet because I stitched quite a bit yesterday. But I don't think I'm going to do seven this week. I have something in mind. I think I'm going to have a new start tomorrow. We'll see. I've been watching Floss Tube today. Who all have I watched? I watched Calico, um, Stitch Roadies, Nicole's Needlework, Nicola. Arlene Cohen. I don't remember who else. I have started, I have subscribed to so many, I don't know, maybe up in the hundreds. And that's too many. I can't watch that many people. But I like all of them, and I want to try. So what I've started doing is just watching a few minutes of each one. I feel like I'm abandoning a friend if I don't watch them, the ones that I've subscribed to. And I'm not commenting as much as I used to. I try to comment occasionally, but I'm generally stitching and I have it on my television. And in order to comment, I have to stop and go to my iPad to do the comment. So I've had to sacrifice that for a bit. You would think with what's going on, I would have more time, but I'm retired, so it's all the same to me, this staying at home stuff. Um, now, obviously, I don't stay at home all the time like I'm doing now. I go to Hobby Lobby or I go to Walmart or Sam's or somewhere. I go to church. I have a lot of church activities. So it's not much different. Anyway, I just thought I would come on and say hi. Tell you that all is still well. I think I'll wait until Monday and make another video and tell you what my new start is that I do tomorrow. Hope your weekend is good and that you are staying in and staying well. Bye-bye.